Hey, this is Backcountry Outdoors. We're back to paint another lure and we're going to paint this uh, little jerk bait here and we're going to do a trout pattern on it. Uh, we're going to be spraying some more of the Indian inks like we did a uh, couple videos ago. Uh, we're going to be using sepia. This turns out real good on, on the trout patterns. We're going to use a uh, little cheap bottle of airbrush pink that I bought off of Amazon. Some Createx transfer uh, transparent black. Get that right in a minute. Some pearl gold and some uh, opaque white of course for our base coat and pearlized white on the main body of the fish. Alright, we'll get uh, painting. Alright, we're going to get the base coat on it. I changed up my camera angle. Uh, one of my subscribers wanted to try to get a better angle on Y'all guys let me know how this turns out. I've purchased a new stand a couple of weeks back and I hadn't started using it yet so I broke it out of the box and we'll be trying different angles and y'all let me know which one's the best. We got our base on, and we'll move to our sepia. I know I said we was going to do sepia, but I tried to skip a step. <laughs> it's going to be pearl. We're going to spray some pearl white on it. A lot of people wonder what what I thin my paints with, and I use just distilled water. It's worked the best for me. second coat it. I always try to put two coats of this pearl on. My crappy pattern and this pattern here my rainbow trout. I always try to double coat this pearl white. But you can paint this and Put some eyes on it. That pearl white looks good. Alright, we'll get the sepia loaded up this time. Okay, I got sepia loaded up. I had trouble with my airbrush, and so, a good point here. I broke my airbrushes down last night and cleaned them. And when I did, I didn't get the needle pushed in far enough, so when I pulled down on the trigger, paint started coming out immediately. And if that happens, check your needle because you're pro you probably didn't get it seated far enough in. Just That's one good thing about these cutaways. 
loosen loosen up and kind of mess with your needle a little bit get it set back in I'm just lightly coating this thing with this sepia and I get a little darker and a little darker as it goes hope you can see that We're not going to come down to this halfway point like we do on a lot of baits. We're going to just come right about that roll. And just fade it into that wide a little bit. And this sepia, as you, it looks like a goldish looking color, bronze. And then we're going to darken this back up. The more you spray it, the darker it gets. All right, we'll get the, we're gonna get some pearl gold in there and we're just barely gonna spray this pearl gold on it. Just a very little, just to give it a little sparkle and shine. All right, we got our gold loaded up and we're just gonna to touch it with the gold. Just, just barely. holding the airbrush way back way back from the bait and just barely touching it with that gold and that's it that's all the gold we're going to put on it just enough to give it a little flash once we get it uh, alright sorry about that my wife was calling she's been at cheer competition with my middle child and she's almost home about to go get her as soon as we finish up this video so I don't do a stencil for the pink line I've got the pink loaded up and the GSI Creos this is the 771 and it's a detailed airbrush so I just that's how I put my line my pink line on And I follow that middle line. All the way back. We'll do it again. A little faster that time and then we'll go to the other side
running about 15 psi so i had a little tip drive i took the needle cap off so i could clean the tip dry a little faster as we go that way i ain't gotta pause the video And that's how we do it. And we'll get some black in a cup and I'll show you how I do my dots. I do not do them with an airbrush. So what I do is I take a toothpick or one of my hangers that I dip with. I'll put a little black in a cup <clears throat> and I just dip the point. That's how I get my dots. won't make you watch all the dots all right we got our little dots on there now we'll get some eyes on it and we'll dip it in some kbs and we'll show you how it turns out we got some eyes on it Put some little red silvery eyes on it. I'm going to dip it in the KBS. I'm trying something new today. I'm leaving the tape on the bill. That way I maybe not have to sand down the vehicle. That's a real easy trout pattern to paint, I think. And they're they turn out beautiful. That color combination just turns out absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like, comments. Hey, they help. Uh, I don't make nothing off of running my channels. I, I don't accept free gifts. Everything that you see me review, I pay out of my own pocket for. I enjoy doing this and I want to keep y'all learning and learn with you because there's things I don't know and I just try different things and as I learn them I'll pass them on if you know something and, uh, some of you may have a YouTube channel hit me up with your YouTube channel and I'll come subscribe to you I'll watch you uh, there's several folks I like watching uh, it's just fun doing and it gives me something to do in the winter time while I'm waiting on the fish bite to come on and uh, go fishing. Y'all have a good day. Backcountry out.